Hi everyone. So this video is going to be about factoring when there's three terms and your a is not equal to one. Now to most students this is the hardest type of factoring. Anytime you have to factor when there's a number in front of x squared. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to look at this example first. 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. Well, the first thing we always do when we're factoring is count the number of terms. One, two, three. So the second that there's three terms, I automatically know that I'm factoring by two parentheses. Now the unique thing about this type of problem is you have a number in front of x squared, which we're going to label it as a, b, and c. But if you watch my previous videos, the first thing we ever focus on is the signs. We want to be able to figure out what signs are going to go in these parentheses. And we said that the first thing you do is you're going to drop this first sign, make this a negative. Multiply these two signs, that gives you a positive. Now what you do when this type of problem is you're going to multiply a times a c. Don't worry about the signs because we already have them figured out. Just multiply 3 times 5, that's going to give you 15. Now I'm going to create this chart. Our goal is to get 15 and add or subtract to give us 2. Now since the signs are opposite, meaning they're different, our goal is to subtract to give us 2. Subtract the factors of 15. So I'm going to list all the factors of 15. 1, 15, 3, and 5. Now since the signs are opposite, which one subtracts to give you 2? 3 and 5. But for this type of problem, normally we would put the bigger number in the first parentheses and the smaller one in the second. But we can't do that here because of that 3x. So what you need to do is you need to bring down this 3x and set up two different fractions. And you're going to put the bigger number still underneath the first parentheses, underneath the first 3x, and the smaller one here. Now your next step is you're going to factor this, not factor this out, you're going to simplify it. I can't simplify this, so I'm going to leave this just like this. But I can simplify this. 3 and 3 can both be divided by 3. And it cancels out to give us x over 1. Now I always want you to put 1, even if it cancels out. Now your next step is the easiest step. Literally put 3x5. 3x5. x1. x1. And that's how you factor anything that ever has a number that's not 1 in front of x squared. So now we're going to look at a different example. 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. Count the number of terms. 1, 2, 3. I automatically know it's two parentheses. Now I have to figure out the signs. Drop the first sign. Put a minus sign. Negative times a positive. Negative. A times C is going to give you 12. It has to add up or subtract to give us 8. But since the signs are opposite, Sorry, since the signs are the same, that means that they have to add up to give us 8 because the signs are the same. So find all your factors of 12. 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, 4. And if you happen to see that you already know that two numbers add up to give us 8, don't focus on worrying about the other factors since you already know it's 2 and 6. Now because there's a number in front of x squared, I can't just put 6 in the first parentheses like we normally do. I have to actually set up two different fractions. So I'm going to drop this, 3x, 3x, put the 6 underneath the first one because it's bigger, put 2 here, then simplify. Well, I can divide these both by 3. It's going to divide to give me x over 2. I can't simplify this, so it's going to be just 3x over 2. Then the easiest part, literally put x2, x2, 3x2, 3x2. And you're done. Okay? So when your signs are the same, remember you're adding up your factors to give you the middle number 8. Now we're going to do one last one. 2x squared plus 3x minus 9. Same thing, 1, 2, 3, 3 terms, so two different parentheses. Figure out your signs, bring the first sign down, positive, multiply your signs, negative, multiply a times your c. Don't worry about the signs, 18. And because your signs are opposite, they have to subtract to give you 3. So list your factors of 18, 118, 2, 9, 
3, 6. Since their signs are opposite, they have to subtract. I automatically know it's going to be 3 and 6. I can't put 6 in the first parentheses yet because there's a 2x. So I'm going to bring this 2x down, set up two different fractions. Put the bigger number underneath the first one, put the smaller one in the second one, simplify them. They both can be divided by 2. Simplifies to give me x over 3. 2x over 3 because it can't get simplified. Now the easiest part, put x3, x3, 2x3, 2x3, and you are done. So this takes a complex way of finding the factors of a number of a trinomial that ever has an a that's not equal to 1 into an easier steps. Okay? These steps are a lot easier and hopefully this actually helps you figure out how to factor a trinomial when a is not equal to 1. Alright, thank you.